Stay to the end to see the cost benefits of a luxury vinyl tile DIY install. This was our first time installing luxury vinyl tile with a large piece of furniture still in the room. The bunk bed stayed during the entire project while we removed the carpet, laid the underlayment, and installed our new flooring. So we have a sample of the tile that we're going to use, the Arcadia, and we have a sample of our underlayment. And we're going to just check our door jams now to see if we need to use our oscillating tool. So we'll stick the sample of the underlayment and we have the tile. And so it looks like we're not even gonna have to cut the door jams on this one. So these are the vinyl tiles we're gonna be putting in baby girl's room. This is interlocking luxury vinyl tiles, not luxury vinyl planks. So this is gonna be nice and it has the underlayment on the bottom, the sound barrier. Look how huge they are. These are 16. Yeah. That's 32, yeah. Almost three feet. Yeah, it's 32. So this is the luxury vinyl tile that we're going to use. 16 by 32. So this is gonna be our first tile. We are laying it down this way. So we need to make sure the tongue is facing the wall and the groove is exposed so that we can link or interlock the next one. Right, babe? Yes. Remember we were saying that it's supposed to be up on this side to be able to connect. See, it's on that side that's up. Remember? So, with that in mind, this is down, but this is up. Are we saying we're going to have to start on that side and come this way? Because oh. I was hoping that the harder side would be over here. Maybe we do have to, they always want you to start in the left corner. So that would um, be the left corner. Yeah. If that's the case, then... We have to start there. Yeah. We're going to have to change where we're starting. Okay, so we're going to get some more tiles and lay them out. All right, so this is going to be the piece we're going to use for there. And that piece we'll use for a starter of another row. So... We're going to get it under the threshold. So we're using this five-in-one tool to get underneath it. So we just stick it underneath. And then I'm going to push it towards the So we just have to make sure that first one is straight, so all these will line up straight. Correct. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have good at the seam. It looks really good. Just 
so pretty. Okay, let's try the next one. Oh, we needed our uh, vacuum. Yeah, we want to make sure this right here is all clear. Debris. You're recording? Mm -hmm. oh. I'm still recording this whole time. Okay. Okay. So we kind of put it in at an angle. Yeah, you put it in a little bit of an angle. And then you push it down. In. Make sure it's in there. It's so pretty. Do you want me to get some out of a different box now? Because it's all came from that same box. Um, yeah, we will. So this piece of tile right here is for the threshold, but it's not going down into the threshold the way we'd like it to go. So we have to make a few more cuts, just a little bit, and cut across here to make this piece a little wider and a little deeper actually, so that it could fit under the threshold. So we have another room, I mean, the other half of the room to go. We're gonna move this onto the tiles. All right, now it's time for the second half. <laughs> so let us know in the comments, would you DIY luxury vinyl tile in your home? This is the last tile. That's it. We're done! Yay. That's it. trim for our room. We're going to add some waterproof quarter round trim molding. We're also going to use some all-purpose glue to make sure that it's nice and tight against the wall. We're cutting at a 45 degree angle. This angle helps the trim to fit inside the corners of the baseboard. 
We glued the cord around against the baseboards and not the tile since the tile needs room to expand. I gotta say that this DIY install saved us money and the marble style of the tile completely transformed our daughter's bedroom. Definitely. And we love that luxury vinyl tile is so easy to clean. It's waterproof and durable and most of all, it looks absolutely beautiful in her new room. Make sure you guys check out all our DIY videos for this room makeover and we'll see you next time.